Here we are again at the Pima Air and Space Museum. Um, we are inside one of our exhibits that we call the Bing. So you might ask, what is the Bing? So during Operation Enduring Freedom, the early first couple years of A-10 operations in Afghanistan, one of the first units uh, built uh, one of those temporary structures that were all over the place. I think they're called Nipats, if I recall correctly. And they turned it into what they called the Bing, which was kind of like a lounge slash clubby area for the A-10 pilots. Why was it called the Bing? Well, it was named after the strip club in the Sopranos. And that's why it was called the Bing, because that was when the Sopranos was going, going on and was really popular. The interesting thing is the first unit was very specific that they wanted no televisions, no or, you know, video games, computers, anything. It was a place to kind of, you know, have some drinks, relax, play some music. They left a code of honor saying no televisions, no video games, etc., with a photo of the cast of The Sopranos, you know, just threaten them. So what did the next squadron do? Well, they put in a television and started playing video games. So that's what's kind of interesting about the Bing is kind of this interestingly organic kind of thing that happens during the war that just kind of becomes different things and expands as it goes on. So, it, you know, it was in multiple iterations because A-10s were, you know, in Bagram, Kandahar. So they would take all the stuff off the walls, move it down to their next designation, and put everything up. Um, a lot of the stuff is just random stuff off the Bing. It's a lot like a college dorm room. You know, you have your, you know, velvet Elvis artwork um, that looks straight out of a night, you know, 90s college classroom. The, the plaques that you see along the walls with the squadron deployments and everything, those were actually not in the Bing. They were in their ops shack, but they brought all those back. So again, you know, stealing signs, putting them up on the walls. Um, every time an A-10 pilot did a deployment to Afghanistan, they left one of their name tags or patches on the wall. So if you did more than one, then you left more than one. So some people you'll see multiple ones. Uh, you see some exchange pilots from um, foreign air forces that were flying A-10s. Um, I have to say this was a really fun exhibit to work on because it's a little different than the typical, um, you know, uniforms flight gear. And talking with the A-10 guys, they were really, really good about sharing information and being kind of open about things, you know. Like the bars had places to hide alcohol because technically they weren't supposed to bring alcohol into Afghanistan. So, you know, they would put, have alcohol sent to them in Listerine bottles and stuff like that and then hide them in here. Another interesting thing is um, they had a pink flamingo that whenever they were doing stuff like well, drinking or doing whatever they don't want their CEO to know about, they would put a pink flamingo outside the bing just to let the commanding officer know that now would not be a good time to enter the bing. But it's in the guys who, uh, the guys that we worked with on this exhibit were really good and really interesting. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing this exhibit, or we all had a lot of fun doing this exhibit. Mm -hmm.